All right, uh, obviously thrilled with the, uh, really thrilled with the start, uh, really start to the game, um, you know, and then, and then a majority of the second half, um, you know, I thought, our, I thought our second half defense was, uh, it was really, really good. Um, we were able to kind of get in the locker room and kind of make some adjustments because uh, AG and Crawford were wearing us out in the first half. And, uh, you know, so I was, uh, you know, thrilled with the, obviously the way the starters started the game. Um, you know, and then uh, and then the way the starters started the second half, and then uh, you know just the defensive effort, and uh, and, and we I really appreciated uh, you know the just uh, you know just the better crowd um, you know that we had than uh, than the St. Joe's game. Just that many students in here, just gave a you know a lot more energy and just get more season ticket holders in here. You know, I just think it. Uh, you know, I think it reflected in the energy level. It just was a there was a better environment, better atmosphere. So, appreciate everybody braving the you know braving the cold, uh, cold and the snow that's already been on the ground, but it wasn't snowing. So, I guess I'm giving you fans and students too much credit. Just the elements were really not that bad. So, you had talked about wanting Josh to attack the rim more. Did you? How do you think he responded tonight? Yeah, I mean, he was. You know, listen, Josh. Um, you know, Kenya does a really good job. It was great having, uh, you know, Talik. I think Talik really, you know, along with Kamani and, uh, you know, along with Kamani really been able to help, uh, you know, re really help stabilize Al, um, you know, after, after struggling a little bit early. Um, but having Kenya back, having a guy that he's used to working with, um, it's definitely good for his level of comfortability. But, um, you know, he he was playing against a real real dude out there. The guy AG could play at a lot of places, uh, play most places in the country. So he knew he had a big matchup, and, and that, that's what we're going to need from him. Um, you know, not necessarily 19, 12, and you know, and four, but the force he played with. Uh, he was he, he was a, he was a man out there. Dan, uh, um, hi. Al <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big of a room. I don't know why. <laughs> Al Tariq seemed to do a lot really efficiently. I'm just wondering your thoughts on his performance and also just how he's settled into this season. Yeah, I mean, it's, again, like in the early part of the season, um, you know, it's like, you know, year two, game three, year two, game five, year two, you know. And, and for him, too, it's like, I, th I think he's just coming up on maybe completing a first full season, if you add up, I guess. There were some stops and starts early in his career, but I mean, um, you know, he's a relatively inexperienced college player, and um, you know, and then we, we just didn't—I I didn't do a very good job coaching him uh, at, at that position early in the season. I think, uh, you know, I, th I think he's made adjustments, but I think that just as a, as a staff, I think we're we're not letting him down the way we were early on when we, we really didn't have him. Um, you know, playing to his strengths and then playing to the strengths of the team. But I, I just I love where it's going with him. He's so focused on his leadership and trying to make people around him better. You know, the way he was looking for Tyler in that stretch, he was really looks like he's starting to really understand the position. You've obviously had some uh, your bench and your younger players have played well in the last couple of weeks. But did the starters kind of feel I don't know like a good sense of pressure? And obviously they scored a lot and played a lot uh, better tonight. The, the the older guys, yeah. No, I, I don't. Um, I just I think that's why you know every college coach or a lot of you know or, or you hear a lot of Jay Wright and you know uh, Tom Izzo or whatever they talk about you know to be really great to have great teams and and to have great seasons you got to get old and stay old you know like older players you know without our older players today we we would and, and, you know exclude a cook from that because a cook. You know the way he was, re the way he rebounded. Um, you know, and just his, his his awareness defensively. He's like kind of in a different category. He's he, he's just his just because he was here at mid year. Like he's just you know he doesn't make a lot of mistakes defensively. He doesn't look lost out there. Um, but today was an example. If we didn't have quality older players, we would have lost today. If we had to rely too heavily uh, on the freshmen. Um, you know, it's particularly like the freshman guards, James, Jalen, to save us. You know, Brendan uh, didn't have a good offensive game, but he guarded. But, yeah, I mean, today, um, you know, without Christian, without Al, without the seniors and Tyler's start to the second half, you know, we would have lost. Dan, kind of on that 
the way this team has responded this year to, to the other team's runs as compared to last year, can you just address that? It seems like they're not letting those runs get them too far down. Yeah, um, we just, you know, we, we've had more time as a program to, uh, to, to work hard together, to develop relationships, um, you know, to build trust, to, uh, to build, you know, build our character as a team, our culture, you know, where, you know, we're, we're, we're this, this group is able to, uh, to, to, to not just get through hard practices, but embrace them. And, uh, and we've just developed a lot more team toughness, you know, and, and that's, as time goes by in your program, as you, you, as you recruit players in and as players that were already in the program, um, start to believe in your vision, then, you know, they're, they're, you're just a lot more together and, and you can withstand, um, you know, b bad stretches and respond. Um, we just, we trust each other more because we, you know, we're becoming a real program right now. We have a ways to go, but, you know, we're becoming a, a, a good organization. You mentioned him earlier, but just nice to have Kenya back on the bench tonight and I guess back in practices too. Everything's, he's good to go now. Yeah, he came in with his doctor's note today. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what was going on. I tried to authenticate it. It looked like his wife wrote it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's good. Uh, you know, Kenya is a, uh, it was great having Tleek on the court, just his energy. And again, his impact with the guards, I think was really, really positive. But, you know, Kenya is a, is a real professional, um, real professional coach. He's excellent with the bigs and uh, just has got a great way about him. Uh, real calm, real poised and real, real smart professional coach and balances off, you know, some of my, you know, in, in, insane emotional outbursts. So. With Tyler tonight, he was pretty quiet in the first half. Did you see anything at you know, halftime or adjust anything to kind of get him going in the second? Yeah, I mean, we got, you know, we, we, um, we got after him a little bit at the half, nothing crazy, but, you know, he started well. Um, you know, there, there were just there were a couple plays on the court where, where we froze, like loose stuff, like 50-50 like balls, where like there's one in the first half where he didn't engage and go get it. Um, you know, he, he um, sorry, I'm blanking right now. He let Crawford get in his left hand uh, on, dribble, uh, on dribble drives that led to three-point plays and finishes at the rim. So, you know, he just, he made his first perimeter shot and, uh, and he kind of disappeared and, and uh, you know, he's, he's too important of a player for this team. Again, like his ability to go on a run the way he did shooting the ball, um, that's a real weapon. And, uh, and he should be a plus defender too. But, you know, but he, was, he, he, he showed something there by not getting down on himself and, and fighting back there. Because, you know, you know, we were thinking about like, you know, hey, that, that, that performance, you know, the, the wheels were turning in my head about maybe, you know, giving somebody else to start in the second half because I, I just didn't like the, f the level of force that he was playing with. But I'm glad I didn't do it. Uh, Dan, did you uh, switch up on Crawford in the second half, do something different on him? Yeah, we just got him going more right. Just we showed help earlier. Um, just we were more responsive. just didn't let him get in his left hand. And, and um, you know, we just, just showed him more help. Ball screen actions. We just we tried to get the ball out of his hands, be a lot more aggressive with it, and just try to um, you know just tr try to let that ball uh, get to their others. You know, we just really didn't want Ag and, and Crawford. You know, we, we didn't feel like any of the other guys would be able to do enough for them to be able to stay in the game. We had to do a better job on those two. You had a moment, it was like towards the end of the first half where you put your arms up like this after the Carlton dunk up, or Carlton layup. What was that about? What were you going through your head at that moment? I, like last, uh, I, I just, I, want, um, I wanted Josh to, to, go, to go like psycho beast mode there. I wanted emotion. I wanted like, I wanted him staring at the student section. I wanted him to bring, I wanted him to bring uh, the crowd to its feet. I wanted him to show that he was all man and he was a beast. He didn't do it. I did it. <laughs> but I just wanted him, to, uh, you know, like Josh is really good. And Josh has been a little bit of a funk. And I think, uh, you know, it's a lot of times when a player that's really good is struggling, it has a lot to do with the mental. And I just want just him to believe in himself. And I wanted him to see me doing that in his direction. I wanted him to see that I believe in him and that, um, you know, 
Then I think he's a beast. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Mike, you want me on that? All right, thank you.